Hi everyone for this new tutorial about the API of Curvis Plans. In a previous tutorial we made this code which uh, creates a spline, a very simple spline as you can see here and we are going to use that spline to have a controller uh, move an object along it. So basically what we are going to do is creating a cube and then adding a spline controller on that cube, setting the spline of that spline controller, then setting a speed, let's say 5, and maybe setting a, a position. Let's start by creating the cube. So game object dot create primitive and then a cube. Okay, next we are going to add to that cube. We are going to add the component uh, spline controller. And then the controller. We are going to set its spline through the spline uh, property. And we are going to use the spline that we created earlier. And uh, let's set a speed for the controller. Uh, let's say, yeah, we set 5. And uh, maybe position also. Position. So I will set the position mode to relative. That means that the position should be between 0 for the start of the spline and 1 for the end of the spline. And then I will set position to uh, 0.25. So it's at the quarter of the spline. And that should be it. Let's see. And here we are. We have our, our cube moving along the spline. So that's it. Uh, as you might have already noticed, but the names of the uh, properties that you are using, you can use through the API, are very similar, if not exactly the same, to those of the parameters in the inspector of your script. So, uh, yeah, once you know how to use Curvis Plans through the editor, using Replicating those operations through the API should be really easy and straightforward. Uh, that's it. I hope that's helped and have a nice day.